Good morning. We're back to KFYO Mornings with Dave King and Matt Martin. It's 8.08 a.m. and uh, 34 pretty chilly degrees outside. And as we promised, we have the friend, we have representatives here, mm -hmm. I should say, <laughs> from the Friendship High School Theater. Good morning, folks. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, you guys are getting up a little earlier than usual, I bet. Yes. <laughs> Y'all are out to be on the road right now, right? Yes, luckily. Yes. So Y'all are off oh. for the week and, uh, yeah. What a cool deal! I, we, you get a whole week for Thanksgiving. Yes, thank they, God. They oh. could have slept. They could have slept until noon today, but instead they're coming in. They're I, they're trying to promote their. Uh, yeah, I think but, I, I think they only let us off Thanksgiving Day when I was in school. That's it. Yeah. That's uh, well, maybe not. Anyway, um, you guys with the Th Friendship Theater, doing a, a Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella. Yes. Very cool. Get yeah, full orchestra, the whole works, huh? Yes, so this would be like be seeing, good. this is be just as good as going to Broadway and seeing a play, won't it? Uh, that's the goal. <laughs> We'd <laughs> like to say goal. that. <laughs> Take it away. So uh, how many performances of Cinderella will you be presenting at the Performance Center at uh, Friendship? So we'll actually have a total of four shows. We're going to have an evening show each night, December 1st through 3rd, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then we're going to have another afternoon show on that Sunday at 2 p.m. And how long are these shows going to be? So the evening shows will begin at 7 p.m. They'll have a 15-minute intermission, and it'll end around 9.15. And then the afternoon show will begin at 2 p.m. It'll also have that intermission halfway through, and it should end around 4.15. So how big is this performing arts theater? How many seats can it hold? So we actually have a total of about 950 seats in the pack, which is insane. And there's an upper-level seating and a lower-level seating, and there's just not a bad seat in the entire house like it's, as long as you come early and get your seat you'll be good okay general admission mm. yeah yes yeah. so how do people get tickets to see this so they can either go to our website cinderellalubbock.com or they can visit the friendship high school webpage and right click on the cinderella link on the home page or they can purchase them at the door based on availability okay so how no, i think she's going to ask some questions no? No. <laughs> so, how, oh, we had, first off, uh, we need, we have uh, Sierra Robertson, right? So. That, and you're going to be Cinderella, I understand. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. And we have Kobe Rogers. And Kobe, what are you? Uh, his name is Jean-Michel. He's kind of a new character in this version. And uh, he's a peasant in the town and a revolutionary looking for change. Well, and then Samantha Gang is going to be... Uh, I'm one of the stepsisters. One of the evil stepsisters. Yes, for most of the time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we got we have evil. We got to have a bad guy, right? Of course. Yeah. I mean, that's what Cinderella is all about. So, how much is it going to cost me to go? Uh, the tickets are going to be fifteen dollars for adults and ten dollars for students and seniors, and it's a show for everyone. So, bring the whole family. Okay. So, how long do you have? Uh, how long have y'all been working on this? We had our auditions um, right at the very beginning of school. And since about then, we've been working on average like four days a week um, after school, just rehearsing until now. Okay. So how big is this production? How many people are involved? Uh, there's a really, really big cast. We have about 70 cast members, um, not including our stage crew, technical crew, um, the dance company, and the musicians that are all involved. Altogether, we have about 100 kids involved in the show. So what made your director choose this musical? Our director, Mr. Learman, really likes to capitalize on the talent that he has in this program. Uh, and he knew that doing this musical would be an enormous undertaking, but he has told us repeatedly that he has no doubt in our abilities to do the impossible. Okay. So we're going to talk to Cinderella. Hi. <laughs> so is the Roger and Hammerstein's version of Cinderella different from your traditional storybook Cinderella, like what you would see on Disney or what you grew up reading? Um, yes, but it still has everything we love about the story. I mean, this version was originally presented in TV back in 1957, but then was therefore um, rewritten for the Broadway stage in 2013, where it won immense Tony Awards. And um, I mean, it still has all the enchanting fairy tale magic and princes and princesses and the story of a kingdom where the impossible is made possible. <laughs> So y'all have y'all have dancers and y'all have a, a big production. So who choreographed the dances for this production? Oh, they're amazing. Um, we have Courtney Ferguson, Jennifer Smith, and Melissa Oakley. They're just they're unbelievable. Okay. Um, 
without giving too much away, do any of you have a favorite scene? Yes. Uh, my favorite scene to watch is um, the Cinderella transformation scene. In the very beginning, um, where she goes from just kind of a shy peasant to just a beautiful princess um, on stage with the help of the fairy godmother. And uh, just being a part of that classic Cinderella moment is just beautiful to watch. My favorite scene would have to be the scene following that scene, which is the ballroom, and it's where Cinderella meets the prince, and it's just, it's so beautiful. There's so many gowns on stage. The the dancers look awesome. It's just so exciting to watch, and it's a 17-minute long scene. It's got, like, four parts, so it's so cool to see it all come together. Um, one of my favorite scenes has to definitely be the finale. It's just because... We all come together as like a huge ensemble and it's just so beautiful and there are people in the aisles and the harmonies are just glowing and it's just such a beautiful moment to just watch and be a part of. So I don't, I don't mean to put anybody on the spot, but can y'all give us a, a little teeny snippet of a, a song maybe or, you know, something y'all have going on? Um, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm as mild and as meek as a mouse. When I hear a command, I obey. But I know of a spot in my house where no one can stand in my way. <laughs> a little do it different doing it in a radio station than it is uh, on the stage, isn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are there any other events that are going on in conjunction with the musical production? Um, yes, um, we're actually having a Cookies and Crown event at on Saturday and Sunday, December 2nd and 3rd, beginning at 5.30 p.m. There's going to be, like, princes and princesses, and we'll be having a story time, cookie decorating, and crown and sword decorating. It's going to be so much fun, and you can have your little ones dress up in their fancy little ball clothes, and all you have to do is bring $5 at 5.30 right at the door. (laughs) Uh, So we hear there's an organization called Dallas Summer Musicals, and we don't know much about that, but... uh, uh, they will be there to see your show again this year. What is that all about? Oh, yes. We, we're so excited. Um, Dallas Summer Musicals is a nonprofit organization that presents and promotes excellence in live musical theater. They came to Friendship High School last year, actually, and we were nominated for nine high school musical theater awards in our first year competing. I mean, we are so excited to compete again. It's just mm-hmm. such a great experience. So this is for competition, then? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. So... Um, that's again now i want y'all to go back tell us again how to get tickets to this so there's there's multiple ways to get tickets the um you can go to the friendship high school website and you can right click on the cinderella link which will take you to another place that you can either go through there or you can go directly to www.cinderellalubbock.com or you can just purchase them at the door based on availability probably the simplest thing to do isn't it Yes, well, but we might, what, might sell what if they sell out? out? So. No, <laughs> they, they have uh, brought the four tickets to give away. Let's okay. give them away. Oh wow! Yeah, this is a uh, winning. You can win four tickets to the High School Musical, the Rodgers and Hammerstein Cinderella. You can call us. Let's give four tickets to the fourth caller at seven seven zero five seven ninety right now. Da da! The phones will. St- We'll ring here momentarily. We've got uh, some other tickets that we will give away, uh, well, let's see, today and tomorrow, okay. I guess. Sounds good. You guys, uh, I'm. I, if your show is as good as the preparation you've made for this radio interview, I'm impressed. <laughs> 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 now, that ought, to be, that ought to be a great Christmas show. And, and again, Cinderella is one that even the, uh, the children, the little kids will love it. Yes, oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, adults and everybody. So you can bring the, bring the whole family. Bring the whole family. Yes. yes. It's a very interactive show, too. I mean, there's multiple times where we're going through the audience, and you get really, like, up close to the characters. We get to interact with the little kids. It's so much fun. Everyone yeah. tells their own story, and it's just so beautiful. Yeah, that's great. Well, again, uh, we'll, we'll promote you here on the show, and uh, it looks like we've uh, already got plenty of, of calls for the free tickets. Uh, and thanks for coming out, guys, and, and the best of luck with your show. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. much. We'll be back after this.